Hey everybody, it's Jimmy from the DIY and Digital, and today I'm showing you how to use the Engine Driver app with JMRI. Hey everybody, it's Jimmy from the DIY and Digital, and today I'm going to show you a quick video on how to use the Engine Driver app for Android to run your trains through JMRI with your phone. So as you can see right here, I have my phone right here and now I have the Engine Driver app right here. Now if you need this, it's available from the Google Play Store. You can just search Engine Driver app. There is a similar app for iOS. I can't remember what it's called right off the bat, but um, I will put that in the description below. So let's go ahead and open up our Engine Driver right now. Now you can see that my engine driver automatically connects to my JMRI. The way that it does that is that it has detected that the Y throttle is active in JMRI. Now this is a quick instruction on how you do that. All you have to do is once you've opened up your roster in JMRI, you click action and then click activate Y throttle. It will start up and then you will be able to access this via the engine driver app. The only stipulation with this is if you're running it off a Windows computer, you will have to disable your firewall. Okay, let's get right into this. Engine driver is fairly simple. Now you can see that I have two locomotives right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna press to select and all of our locomotives come up right here. So let's see here. The two we have here right now are the NS6814 and the ACL 1021, that's a Norfolk Southern and an Atlantic Coastline. So let's select the NS6814. So right now, it automatically pops up in reverse. So we're gonna switch it to forward. We're gonna turn its lights on. And if you have a sound equipped locomotive, this is where all your features will be active from. So one of the cool things that I really like about this is if you have this little V up here, that means you can control it with your volume control. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn up the speed steps right here. And you can see that the engine starts moving right there. And I can hit reverse and the engine reverses. And then I can hit stop. You can see I also have this e-stop um, button up here. Let's go ahead and uh, look at the settings real quick let's go to preferences and you'll be able to name your throttles all sorts of stuff you can see that i have you can see that i have the show emergency stop button and i'm also going to turn on the show out the layout power button you can also do a fast clock number of throttles all sorts of stuff it's pretty customizable so here we go so let's go into switching a locomotive so let's say that now i want to select ACL 1021. There's two ways to do that. One, I can just add a locomotive down here, just like I did before. Now you can see I have two throttles. Or I can go up here to NS6814 and I can hit release. And then I can press the select. And there we go. All right, so we are now going to put it into forward. We're going to turn its light on. And we're going to start her up. And it's just as simple as that. You can see reverse. Even on, I'm actually running this off the Raspberry Pi Zero W. And you can see even with the low power of that computer, it's still very, very responsive. So that is a really good thing for me. And this is how I walk around and run my layout. I've been doing this for months and it works very well. Now, the only other thing that I can mention is that this does allow consisting. Um, I can show you this really quick. I do not have these engines speed matched and I do not have any of my engines speed matched right now because I had to do a decoder switch. So let me show you how to consist though. So let's say we want to consist, let's uh, release the ACL 1021. Um, okay, we're going to press to select here. We're going to uh, pick NS6814 right there. And then we're going to hit it again. And we're going to click ACL1021. Now you get the screen where it says that NS6814 is the lead engine. 
and then that ACL 1021 is a secondary engine. And by default, it's going to tell you that both engines go are in the front facing position. But as you can look at our arrangement, that engines are in opposite directions. So we're just gonna tap the ACL 1021, switch it to rear, and that will do it. So we'll back out of there and now we can hit forward. Now the lights will only work on the forward engine, but you guys can see here really quick, I'm gonna to have to zip the speed up pretty fast, but you can see now I'm in control of both engines. And if you have them speed matched, they will work like this. All right, guys, that's a quick overview of the Engine Driver app. Um, if you have any questions about it, put them in the comments below. Until next time, this is Jimmy from the DIY and Digital. Happy railroading.